Look at this. It's very wintry here at our country house. Wow. This is amazing. I can't. <laughs> much snow here. It's crazy. The birds, this is for the birds where they drink water. Now they can eat water. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to measure how much snow there is. Hmm, this is only 15 centimeters. Try it on the uh, bird drinker. Mm -hmm. 23. See, I told you. That sounds better. <laughs> okay, so... The trees look heavy. Yes, everything looks... Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I want all winter to be like this. Yeah. And our marigolds? <laughs> they are done. So pretty. But this was expected because <laughs> marigolds are annual uh -huh. flowers. <laughs> Look at the, the side wall. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas time in our condo. We are spending the day decorating our place to make it look all Christmassy like this and it takes a lot of time because we have a lot of stuff so it's a good thing it's a weekend today so we can spend the time doing this. <laughs> and in the meantime I am preparing our favorite punch which is a mixture of special tea here there was also cinnamon and cloves and here we have red wine and rum. I already measured the correct amount, so it's ready to be poured in. <gasps> oh my god, no, look, I destroyed it. How will, how will we get it out? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> oh, What the hell is this? I'm going one more time, but this doesn't look good. Ta -da. Oh no, it's falling. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I will announce myself later again when this mess is gone and everything will be perfect again. Okay, it's in my eyes, in my face, it's all over the kitchen, the wine. The cork plug is here, inside. Ooh, my eyes are full of red wine. This is amazing. Okay, so, wow, it exploded. I just like, I did this and then part of the wine flew out. Amazing experience, I recommend. cork is here inside and it's falling apart so there are little cork particles. I need to pour this, the wine, through the cloth here so I catch all the little particles. Wow! And now we have red wine again! clean one. So, I'm going to pour the wine here into the tea. Mm. 
And the rum, of course. And here we have fresh orange juice. And here we have bought apple juice. We should have made our own. Oh well, we have so many apples, we always say that. This whole thing we will also use. And our punch is done. I will just heat this up so it's warm again. And then we will feast on this. I'm looking forward to it. And it's a lot, as you can see. The whole pot of punch. That's great. Let's pour this in. Come take a sip. Here you are. And cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yummy. You have a sparkle <laughs> here on you. <laughs> I sparkle today. Yes, you do. Guys, it's so tasty. <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. It's a garland and we've never had one so I really wanted to buy one and I did finally. And it's so big. Wow. And we would just put it here it would be hanging down like this. Ta -da! It looks really good. I like that it goes like like this. It's not straight and it goes like inside the room so it's I don't know, it creates... It's very visible. <laughs> <laughs> All the lights are hanging, everything is decorated and it looks so beautiful. Here the colors are changing and I really like it. But that's not all. Look here. Ta -da! And here another set of lights. I really like that during Christmas there are so many lights and it looks magical. Magical and beautiful and wow, amazing. I really like it. Welcome to Christmas Baking with Peter. Here we are again in our kitchen and it's time to whip up something delicious. And, of course, it's going to be Linzer cookies. We've made them a few times already and I wanted to take a look in my recipe. I have files saved on our computer and then I found out there is no recipe for this. So that's terrible because on the internet there are various variants. So today we are filming also for ourselves. So it's in our archives where I can take a look how it's done. So hopefully it will be a success. In the past it was always a success. Sometimes we burned them a little bit. <laughs> Successfully burned them. 
Exactly! But last year it was so amazing. So here are the ingredients. I already measured everything. Here we have 210 grams of whole grain spelt flour. So these cookies are going to be healthier than normal ones made of basic white flour. Here we have 140 grams of butter and here we have 70 grams of sugar. So you can see it's 3 to 1 the ratio. The ratio, yes, I was looking for the word. So the ratio is 3 to 1. And we also need two eggs. And we don't need the whole eggs, of course. We just need the egg yolks. So that's the first step, which I am dreading. I don't like separating the egg yolks and egg whites. So wish me luck. So I'm always afraid that I'm going to mess this up. But it looks like it's going somehow. So here we have one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The egg yolk is oh. destroyed. So I'm going to just put it here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Guys. Okay, I need to salvage this. So let me take this one egg yolk. <gasps> Okay, that looks great. Better than that one. <laughs> and let's try again with another egg. Some people do it in their hands, I think, and I will do it too. Let me try. They do it like this, somehow. I'm sure it's a great moisturizer for your hands. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, I'll take that. Yes, now I got rid of the egg white and here we are! Yay! It's nice to know that the most difficult part of the recipe is separating the egg yolks and egg whites. So it should be very easy now. So, flour here. I will put sugar in there. And just slightly mix it somehow. And now I will add this butter. I cut it into many small pieces because then it's easier to work with it. I will just use my hands to, you know, make a dough. Now the dough is kinda getting together. It looks good, look. It's holding together, it's nice. So I'm going to add the egg yolks. Hopefully that's the correct time to add them. I don't know, but basically you just mix everything together. So everything should be okay. But now it's sticky. Look with the egg yolks. Ooh. I feel so warm. This is such a workout. Tommy works out with dumbbells and I work out in the kitchen. And look, the dough looks very nice. I like it. The dough is done. It looks great, but it's kind of soft. So you should put it into the fridge for some time so the dough gets harder. It's quite cold outside. Maybe you can see snow. So I will put it outside. It's not freezing and I will put it there just for a short time. There is not enough space in our fridge. So this will be nice and then we will continue. Hopefully some birds won't come and destroy everything. <laughs> After 30 minutes, the next step is to roll the dough. Can you see me? Fortunately not. <laughs> you can. So, I have two baking papers here. 
we use them already, but it's okay to reuse them because we want to be friendly to our environment. So, reuse, reuse, recycle. Yes, exactly. So it's absolutely okay to reuse them for a few times, for two times maybe, I don't know. I need Tommy for holding the papers because they would like travel across the table, so hold it. And I'm rolling. Sometimes I also roll Tommy's fingers <laughs> when he is not careful enough. Yeah, that's always my fault, of course. <laughs> when we tried this for the first time, we used different shapes of the forms, but now we only use the basic circle one. Uh, because it's the most practical one and we don't really care what it looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we care how it tastes. Now I need to release the circles from the surrounding dough. And then we'll put them on the baking pan. Which is the hard part for me. <laughs> because you know when you start touching it, uh, the shapes will be deformed. I remember when we were kids, we used to eat this dough raw, with the raw eggs, and it was delicious. Yeah, I think everybody <laughs> does that. Kids love raw dough. Kids are tough, right? They don't get salmonella or anything. No. <laughs> so this one is just the tester. Tester. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the dough. Yeah. But otherwise, it looks very nice. Thank you. I thank you and I thank me. Now we just need to start the oven. 160 degrees Celsius. No idea how much that is in Fahrenheit. Oh. Guys, you in the US, you need to start using the metric system because it's a mess. You are one of, I don't know, three countries in the whole world using these old-fashioned units. Imperial. Imperial, yeah. Like, what is it? Are you an Imperium? Okay, the oven should be hot enough. So let's put this in. It should be there for maybe 10 minutes, just a short time, because these cookies get burned very easily. It looks kinda the same, but it's tricky. This always happens. I think it's not done, but it is. It needs to cool down and it's okay. It's kinda soft, but it will harden. Once it's cooled down, it will be okay. Some time later, it's cold and I'm going to taste this. It's not soft anymore, so that's nice. It looks like this, the same. And I will bite into it so I see the crunchiness and everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not too crunchy. It shouldn't be too crunchy. It should be so... Great. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Mm. Wow. Yum. Okay, another success. And later we will stick them together with jam and everything, but that will be done later. Time to decorate our linzer cookies. We always stick two pieces together with jam and the traditional jam to use is currant jam or strawberry jam. And we have two kinds this year. One is 
uh, strawberry jam from Peter's mom. But our new specialty this year for the first time is our own rose hip jam. We made it ourselves, I don't know, one month ago only. Uh -huh. And it's delicious. It has a really great consistency. You can put it on really easily. Peter came to join me because it's time to taste it. <laughs> yes, it's Peter's favorite activity. It is. <laughs> because like we need to taste this because it's very new and if it's terrible with the rose hip jam we will use the strawberry one instead. Not all of them are made yet, so this is very necessary. Honey, you are going first. Okay. Only half. We'll see. We are tasting only one. We can definitely continue using our rose hip jam. <gasps> we can? Mm -hmm. Yes! Mm. Mm. This is totally made for this because it's a little bit sour, same as red currant jam mm -hmm. that should be in these Linzer cookies. So. Wow, amazing. So we will continue. Our new tradition is born. Mm -hmm. Yummy. It went very quickly because we have only a small amount of pieces. Uh, but I'm very proud of myself because I didn't destroy any. All of them are still in one piece. You are amazing. <laughs> As the gentle glow of Christmas lights illuminates our home, we find ourselves immersed in the magic of the season. In these moments, we reflect on the simple joys, the laughter shared and the love that is around us. We are very grateful for the special moments. Surrounded by the soft glow of candles, we are reminded that within the heart of winter lies a searing beauty, a quiet moment of wonder. Winter solstice, the shortest day and longest night of the year, holds a mystical quality. We can feel the promise of light returning, which we are very happy about. We'd like to wish you all a cozy holiday season filled with love and joy. And see you guys next time. Merry Christmas!